In this video, we go over how to create your own stamps for Tractor Pro 2. Find out more coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. Making your own stems for stem decks in Tractor Pro 2 is actually really easy. So in this example, I have a beat that I made and I broke it down into four sections because for a stem deck, you can only have four different tracks running at the same time to make up your stem. So in this case, I have all of my drums in this one, I have my leads in this track, one pad sound on this track, and then another pad sound on this track that makes up the whole beat. And then this right here is just the whole master beat, uh, just kind of tracked out all together by itself, because you'll need that as well. So this original beat is actually a lot more tracks, but I just condensed them down into four groups that made sense. So let's go ahead, and once you have all of these elements, all five of them, your four tracks and your master track, just go ahead and open the stem creator. I'll go ahead and link where to get this tool um, below in the description, but it's from Native Instruments and super legit. So this is how you make your stems. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and grab each of these and just drag them onto these tracks right here. And notice that these are labeled. Right now they're labeled drums, bass, synth, and vocals. But you can go ahead and change them. And I will as well because they kind of, they don't match up to what these really are. So for instance, I'll just copy what I have in Ableton. So there you go. Then I'll go ahead and copy the master track as well. Now one thing that's really important to keep in mind when making stems is that each of these tracks have to be the exact same length. So in this example, I only have an eight bar loop. I just took the, the main part, the main loop of this beat and use it in this example, but you could have a whole track that you've created um, and it can be however long you need, need it to be. As long as each of the parts are the exact same length, this will all work. So right here, you can go ahead and add cover art, add all your ID3 tagging. So let's just put stem example, artist, P dot. So just, you know, you can fill out and there's even more things that you can add to it as well. Really, you know, make this a, a full tag and labeled uh, file. You can also listen to it down here. You can listen to the stem mix or the master file. So that's one cool thing about stem is that it incorporates both the four tracks playing together or and the master file. Now you can also, down in this section, kind of quote unquote master your stem. So right here on this side, they have different presets. And then you have your uh, different controls right here for basic. Expert gives you a uh, limiter control as well. So if you do know how to use a limiter, um, go ahead and you can actually fine tune and make it sound the way you want it to sound. But if you don't, no big deal. These uh, four or these three presets are pretty good. Just play around with them. See which one fits for the track that you're making the stem out of. Not all of them are going to sound. There's not one preset that's going to sound great on everything. They all sound pretty good. It's just picking the one that fits the track that you're making. So once that's done, just go ahead and export this. That's going to ask you where you want it uh, saved. Let's just go ahead and save it on the desktop for for this example. Just gonna go ahead and export that real fast. It's pretty fast, I mean, like I said, this is only an eight bar uh, stem. So it's not gonna take up, uh, it's not gonna take that long to create. And right there, it's export successful, go ahead and click okay. Now let's just go ahead and start up Tractor. Okay, so I have Tractor loaded. I went ahead and switched deck A into a stem deck, as you can see right here. And then I use the Explorer to navigate to the desktop where we made that stem example and we saved it there. Now I'll go ahead and load it. Now notice, instead of a normal track deck that just has one waveform running across, we actually have four waveforms um, running across right here. And you have each of your sections. So that's pretty much how to create your own stem and load it into a Tractor Pro. In the next video, I'll go over all the controls in a stem deck and how you can use it and get creative with it. But this is how you make stems, super simple. As long as you have the beat tracked out and you have that length locked in and make sure they're, that they're all the same length, 
All you got to do is just load it into the tool, tag it correctly, and you're good to go. So that's a look on how to make your own stems for Tractor Pro 2. So question of the day, are you going to start using stems? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click right there to subscribe. Or if you'd like to watch more content, go ahead and click on that video right there. And thank you for watching P.TV, where you find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.